Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for subscribing and hitting that subscribe button. If you've been here a while, thank you for coming back. So your girl has been away from her art things quite some time. So this video is very old, but I am definitely posting it to get it out of my drafts and to inspire anybody who may feel intrigued by this particular art activity. So if you can kind of see here, I literally took some black paint and I decided to paint over my old canvas. Why did I do this? Because I started to see so many ways where I had limitations even in my art. So I have recently gone on another awakening and I have realized that I was limiting myself, my art, my speech, my poems, so many ways that I am an artist, a creatress, right? I had so many limitations. I had so many ways where I was putting myself in a box. Real quick side note, look at my daughter in there while I'm painting. Shout out to all my full-time entrepreneurs, full-time creatives who are also parenting full-time. It is definitely not the easiest. Here comes my fiance to the rescue <laughs> to get her into her playroom and out of mommy's art room while she is being creative. So, of course, back to the artistry aspect of video. So, I noticed I had so many limitations on my art where I wanted to pretty much override that, which is actually the name of the piece that's in the corner. You guys can't really see it in this video. I didn't mention that particular piece in this video, but you can definitely check it out at bcdgems.com if you want to see the full canvas. <laughs> That is so cute. But anyways, I have definitely wanted to just redo my art signature, my signature art. A lot of my pieces were very light. If you all are familiar with some of my canvases, then you have seen mostly what I paint. A lot of my pieces were geared only towards my light aspect of myself, which is not the end of the world. Of course, we love to talk about the beautiful things about us or the things that society deems quote unquote appropriate, right? But if you know me and you have been following along on my platforms at Beast Hidden Gems, both on TikTok as well as Instagram, then you know I have definitely been speaking more about the dark powers and what our dark energy can do for us. Dark magic is very powerful. It is very important. Unfortunately, society does deem it as demonic and does deem it as something that we ought not to be moseying along in, but I'm here to tell you that the darkness holds a lot of power. So you're quite literally seeing me transmuting my shadows into my art, into my canvases, right? And a lot of the times when I would look at my canvases, it wasn't feeling like what I was embodying in that time. So I specifically took this canvas and I decided to paint it all black. I personally feel that the darkness can teach us a lot of things. It can teach us the power of walking by faith and not by sight. Because when it's dark as hell and you're going through challenges and you're going through things that are very difficult and it doesn't seem like light, it is here where you discover parts of yourself that you never knew was there, power that you were able to find that you never knew you had. So that's really what this piece is centered around. I wanted to really focus on the magical properties of the darkness and how much the darkness can teach us about ourselves and how powerful it can be along our spiritual journey. I know that some spiritual workers or some individuals in the conscious community rather, because I hate saying the word spirituality now, long story short, but know and understand that your darkness, your shadows, or the parts of yourself that you may not want to expose and show is what makes you you. It is unique to you. What is the point of hiding this part of you? Know and understand that whenever you hide something or you're trying to essentially half-ass, that's what I start to see it as, is half-assing the most high in the universe because when you're afraid of speaking your authenticity your truth showing up in your true energy know and understand that the universe is going to respond and reflect that 
So if you're afraid of any parts of yourself, if you're uncomfortable with any parts of yourself, you haven't fully understood the power of healing holistically and that we are honoring our whole being, life can be challenging and it's going to be very difficult. Journeying towards my darkness and just being more authentic about my shadows and really just being transparent and vulnerable with my platform has definitely shifted so many energies down to prosperity, down to my ideas that I have now. I'm starting to feel more unique in my field of healing, in my particular form of wellness that I offer. So this is just a beautiful message, a reminder, a timeless message that don't be afraid of your shadows. Don't be afraid of dark energy, right? Because there is power in our dark energy. There is the aspect of transmutation, right? So I've been able to now take a lot of this pain, a lot of these challenges, and actually make it into art. If you've caught one of my most recent lives on IG, I talk a lot about how we are able to truly take pain that is dwelling within us and we can release that and put it into our art right so when we honor our dark spaces when we honor this mysterious aspect of ourselves right and we journey deeper into paths that may look a little challenging or may seem a little weird and obnoxious know and understand that the powers that may come from that path or what you may learn about yourself Man, it could be some powerful shit in there. And you wouldn't even ever know if you never took the time to truly just honor the aspect of bravery. Because it takes a lot of braveness. It takes a lot of standing out and knowing and understanding that you may not look like XYZ and everybody else. Embracing my dark side has also allowed me to enhance my magnetism. Now, I do not feel that I need to hide anything. I feel more free in that my energy feels lighter because I'm not having to hide anything. I'm not having to push things into my closet and to push things under a rug. I am authentically me. So if you have been feeling heavy or if you have just been feeling stagnant and you're wanting this deeper level within yourself, know and understand that honoring your dark energy, honoring those shadows, will help you do that. There are so many ways in which we kind of talk down on this form of magic or this form of work, this form of healing, but know and understand that there is so much untapped potential, so many parts of yourself that is waiting to be unearthed, literally. But it takes you being patient and opening space for grace because this level of healing is a very in-depth form of self-kindness, self-pleasure. You will be connected to so many different skill sets that I feel some people probably might not be ready for because it does take a deeper level of connecting within your heart space. So if you guys enjoyed this, definitely comment down below. If you want more videos like this, definitely comment that and I will see y'all next time. Peace.